might recall last week we told you about the surplus of French fried potatoes in Canada, and we talked about how we're supposed to eat more potatoes for Canada. Well, that got our food expert, Jason Scrobar, inspired to create some new potato recipes. He is joining us from his kitchen in Toronto. Nice to see you inside your place. Great kitchen. Hi, Emery. How are you? I am excellent. How are you? I miss seeing you around here. I'm good. I miss you guys too, but it's nice to be able to do these uh, kitchen hits from home. Yeah, and so creative. And potatoes are one of my favorite things to eat, but when I go to the store, there are so many different kinds. What should I be looking for for certain types of potatoes when cooking at home? Well, there's actually, interestingly enough, there's over 1,400 varieties of potatoes available, uh, but there's only a few that you actually see at grocery stores. And there's, usually, there's about three types um, that you see. Waxy potatoes, which are your new potatoes, your purple potatoes. The skin is usually really smooth um, on those, and those are good for potato salads. They hold their um, shape really well when they're boiled. And then you have your starchy potatoes, which are your russet potatoes. These are usually, these are good for um, mashed potatoes. They're really fluffy. Uh, a baked potato is good uh, to use with a, a starchy potato. And then um, you have your Yukon Gold. And these are, these are uh, sort of an all-purpose potato. Um, and interesting fact, uh, the Yukon Gold potato was developed in Canada in the 1960s in Guelph, Ontario. Huh. So there you go. I love that Canadian um, facts. Right? Um, and, but today, today we're going to make two different recipes, and we're using the good old russet potato. All right. Uh, the first recipe that we're going to do is we're going to make homemade potato chips. Delicious. So easy to do. You don't need a deep fryer. All you need is your oven. Um, and the, the kind that we're going to make today uh, is the Canadian classic, the all-dressed potato chip. Oh, one of my favorites. And, well, before we get going, I think there might be a little surprise coming towards you right now. Perhaps. <laughs> are these all dressed? Are these Jason's? Delicious. These are Thanks, the all Devin. dressed Say chips that we're about to make. <laughs> um, so, basically, what you want to do when you're making oh, all dressed so chips, you cut your potato really thin. Um, I use a mandolin, but you just use a knife if that's all you have. Um, simple ingredients salt and pepper and then what we have oh, here so is we have garlic uh garlic salt uh onion powder paprika and cayenne all of that goes in but the secret ingredient to making all dressed chips is you add a little bit of brown sugar this rounds oh. out all the flavor and gives it that sort of like you know how um uh, so all dressed chips have a really certain uh taste right mm -hmm. and i think that by adding the um the brown sugar really helps. And then you just drizzle that with olive oil. Give that a toss. And then you're going to want to take this, put them on a baking sheet, uh, layer them flat, not touching each other so they don't steam. Right. Throw that in the oven, 375 for about 15 minutes. And then that's just what you get. These are so Crunchy good. Crunchy potato chips. No need for uh, no need for frying. No, they uh, taste just throw so them good. In the oven. Okay, I'm talking with my mouthful, which is terrible. But I really want to get to this potato waffle because that also sounds amazing. I'm yeah, and these are really easy to make too. If you've made uh, mashed potatoes the night before and you have mashed potatoes left over, all you need to do is you take your mashed potatoes, you add a few eggs, some flour, baking soda, uh, and salt. That becomes your batter, your waffle batter. Um, and then you throw it in your, in your waffle maker. And what I've done here, and you can do this at home, is I've created different versions just based on things that I had in the fridge. So I added some cheddar cheese and some green onions to the batter um, and then topped oh. it with some sour cream. This one, I took a fried egg, some bacon, some maple Jason. syrup and hot sauce. This is really. maple syrup and hot sauce. That's fantastic. Uh -huh. I love it. Right? See, Salty, you're... sweet, spicy. I love it. Your food is always so, so good. These are delicious. Thank you for my morning snack. Uh, all of the recipes we're going to put on our website. Uh, I miss you. Can't wait to see you in person again. Thanks, Jason. Me too. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.